Did you know that the original rights to Superman were sold for only $130? Did you know that the original Superman the movie was cursed by the creators of Superman? Did you know that we owe most of the history and preservation of early science fiction movie props to one man who housed all of the stuff in his 18 room home and hosted over 50,000 fans throughout the years to see it all? I'm about to explain all that and more on our third episode of the Superman Collector's Vlog as I get into two very interesting pieces in my collection. So many people don't realize that the actual first actor to play Superman in an on-screen production, now not animated or radio or Ray Middleton at the New York World Fair, uh, but, but actually in a movie was Kirk Allen. And Kirk Allen played Superman in two 15 chapter movie serials in 1948 and 1950. Kirk Allen was Superman's earliest actor that little kids got to see there on screen bringing their hero to life. Well, a couple of years ago, I, well actually several years ago, this was in my early years of collecting. I was online and I was browsing some stuff for sale and I came across an interesting photograph. It was a photograph of Kirk Allen behind the scenes in a Superman production. The first thought that crossed my mind was, well, this is weird. This isn't something that would have been normally for sale to other people. Um, and this is something that to obtain this, you might have to have some special connections. So on a whim, I messaged the, the seller and I just happened to ask. I said, how did you get this photo? Where did it come from? And do you happen to have anything else related to Kirk Allen? I got a pretty interesting email back. The seller told me that yes, he did in fact have many other pieces involving Kirk Allen and that when Mr. Allen had passed away, um, or actually rather moved first out of his home in Houston, Texas, he left behind a whole storage unit full of goodies. So at the time I was in college, so I, I mean my, my pocketbook was rather limited. So I quickly began asking for, for pictures of whatever I might be able to afford to buy. And side note, in college, I had started buying and selling other collectibles to help pay for my Superman hobby. Um, and funny enough, a couple months earlier, I hit the jackpot on a collection of rare early Elvis photographs and Elvis Presley memorabilia. And I had, I had put away a, a pretty nice little nest egg of cash from the money I'd made on the Elvis collection. So the timing was perfect. I had the money to actually buy some things. So I eagerly awaited the photos that the man would send me. The photos that I received um, were several blue folders. These were folders that had obviously stuff had been put in later on, um, but they were artifacts that this man had preserved from Kirk Allen's legacy. One of those photos was labeled Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster Mementos. If you know anything about Superman, you know why I got so excited. So Siegel and Schuster were the creators of Superman. And somehow, Kirk Allen, who was the first person to play Superman, had had mementos from Siegel and Schuster. I was so excited to see what was in that photo or in that um, folder. So when I opened it up, the first thing there were two letters in a series of photographs showing the men together. That's right. I had proof and evidence in, in really cool history that Kirk Allen, Siegel, and Schuster were all together enjoying a party at the home of Forrest Ackerman. Now, that might be a new or unfamiliar name to you. So Forrest Ackerman was the lead writer and publisher of the magazine Famous Monsters of Filmland. Forrest Ackerman is probably the most well-known science fiction, horror, fantasy, movie prop collector and historian of all time. So he had this big house, Every room was full to the brim of, of memorabilia he had collected over the years, and he would host fans throughout the years to come in and see it all. So back in the day, before these movie props sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars, studios would just throw it away when they were done because nobody wanted it. So Forrest Ackerman was accumulating a lot of this stuff very early on um, when people didn't care about it, people didn't value it. Um, so he held those keys. But anyway, he would host these big parties, and apparently there was at least one party where Jerry Siegel, Joe Schuster, and Kirk Allen all attended together. So keep in mind that at this time, Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, they weren't on the best of terms with DC Comics, and that they really weren't that involved in the uh, superhero world. You see, they sold the rights of Superman in the 30s for just $130, and Superman was now this mega million dollar character even back then. 
So this party took place in the early 70s. At that time, Siegel and Schuster were, were in the midst of multiple legal battles, and things were so bad that DC Comics wasn't even crediting them on Superman work. Um, actually, in 1975, shortly before the release of Superman the movie, Jerry Siegel would, would write a, a big, long speech cursing, officially cursing the Superman movie. Um, now, they ended up ironing some things out and putting things on a little better terms after that. Um, but this, at the time of this party, Siegel and Schuster were probably just happy that someone recognized their, their contributions to the character uh, that made superheroes so famous. So, um, again, what was in that photo or in that folder specifically were two letters and a series of photographs. Um, now, also some cool stuff that I'm not going to show you today. There were there were several Christmas cards um, be between the three men. Um, also between Joanne Siegel, who is uh, Jerry Siegel's wife and the model for Lois Lane. But I can show you those later. And a couple other cool things. But what I'm going to be showing you today is these letters. So the first one here, from Joe Schuster. Um, this is actually written in 1976, so a couple years after. The Siegel letter I'm going to show you is from 72. Um, but this is a handwritten letter from Joe Schuster, um, which is extremely hard to find because Schuster's eyesight started failing later in his life. Um, so the later you get, the harder it is to find original art or writing. So this one says, Dear Kirk, as promised, I'm sending you a copy of the publicity appeared uh, in Buyer's Guide a few months ago. I enjoyed reading your book, A Job for Superman. It was really great. Also, I want you to be the first to know that I will be getting married next month to a very lovely, wonderful gal. You may remember meeting her for the Hollywood Awards um, last year, or the Hollywood Awards luncheon. She was thrilled to meet you. Looking forward to seeing you again soon with Judy. With warmest, great wishes, love, Joe. So super, super cool. So not only, so, so Kirk Allen wrote a documentary on his life and his work in the Superman serials called A Job for Superman. So not only is Joe Schuster saying he read that, but he's announcing his marriage to this woman. Um, he's talking about when they saw each other at the Hollywood Awards luncheon. Um, super, super cool uh, history of these two men together. The next letter that I have here is from Jerry Siegel. So again, Schuster was the artist. Siegel, of course, was the writer here. And this is a typed letter, um, but hand signed by him at the bottom. And it says, Dear Kirk, Lois Lane and I want to thank you for the autographed copy of A Job for Superman. Again, Kirk Allen's book. And again, he refers to his wife as Lois Lane because Joanne Siegel was the early model for Lois Lane in the comic books. Um, and the clipping from RBBC, which is the something buyer's guide, I think. Um, your book and its dramatic photographs make fascinating reading, but we'll always especially enjoy the recollection of how entertainingly and dynamically you related your cinematic super capers to the delighted and admiring group at Forrest Ackerman's party. Best regards, and don't take any kryptonite nickels, Jerry Siegel. Isn't that so cool? So again, this is referring to that party that I mentioned at Forrest Ackerman's house, and it's pictures of them together. Um, really, really cool stuff. Uh, it's just neat to see how these different actors and his people that created the Superman history come together and they, their stories weave together as each person played a part in creating the legacy we all know and celebrate. So again, just two unique pieces in my collection. Uh, I got these framed. If you like the framing, um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby does an excellent job of the framing and matting. Um, but these are some of the earliest pieces I ever had. They're really the first history pieces I ever had in my collection back when I didn't have a lot of money and I was just I was in the middle of college just trying to, to make it by but I had scraped up just enough to secure these two pieces to be in my collection forever guys if you like the video please hit that subscribe button it really helps my channel by showing these videos to other people and it also helps you out by making sure you're alerted when new videos come out I have hundreds of videos coming um, so many cool things just like this to tell you the behind the scenes stories. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, like and comment. Love you guys. Take care.